In 1990, an extraordinary new material hit the headlines. This laser can burn through half an inch of steel in a fraction of a second. Few substances can survive such blasts of energy. Yet if the claims of this former hairdresser are true, he holds the secret to a formulation that appears to defy science. He calls his invention Starlight. Morris Ward was an amateur scientist, yet he claimed to have invented an astonishing new plastic. This torch here is producing a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Now try cooking an ordinary egg like that and in a very few seconds the results would be quite an explosion. But I'm going to leave this torch here blowing on this egg for a couple of minutes before we crack it open. And it ought to survive the inferno because it's coated with a remarkable new plastic. But here we have... Its heat-resistant properties here. apparently outstripped any known material. So how is it doing? Well, it hasn't broken up at all. And you can see on the front here it's glowing red hot. But just watch this. If I turn the flame off and remember that it was producing 1,200 degrees Celsius and I take that charred bit and I put it flat in the palm of my hand, it only just feels warm. And if I then crack it open, what's more, the egg hasn't even begun to start cooking. The scientific community was intrigued. We have heard so much about you. We've seen films of you, you know, torching the, the egg. Uh -huh. this is, yes. Uh, In tests at the British Atomic Weapons Establishment, Starlight even withstood blasts of over 900 kilotons, more than 75 times the strength of the Hiroshima bomb. So much power has been reflected off the surface of the starlight that it's actually blown up the thermal fuse and switched the interlock system of the laser down. It looked like Ward's new material had huge commercial potential. And he was determined to protect his incredible find. No. We don't, we don't supply you the formulation. Yes. Yeah. If we, if we give the world the formulation, that's exit us. <laughs> Despite huge interest from big business and even NASA, Ward refused to let any samples of starlight out of his sight or reveal any information about it. All, all we're saying really is that I'm protecting my material and you ain't going to pinch it. In 2011, he died, having neither made his fortune nor divulged the formula of his plastic to anyone outside his family.